Okay, so our example here says a rectangle's area is x squared minus 2x minus 35, and they want to know what are possible dimensions of that rectangle, and they're asking us to use factoring to do that. Okay, so again, I want to give you an example uh, without the polynomials just to explain what this is asking you to do. So there's my rectangle, and what they're telling us is that the area is something, and they're telling us an expression here. So let's take a simpler example. If I said the uh, rectangle's area was 10, and I wanted to know possible dimensions for the rectangle, what you would end up doing is you would factor 10. Okay, so we're going to say, well, okay, factors of 10, well, that would be, for example, 5 and 2, so a possible dimensions for this rectangle could be that it is 5 by 2. Right? And so we're trying to do that. We're trying to break down 10 to make it into a 5 and a 2. We're going to do the exact same thing with our problem, except obviously it's not 5 and 2. It's going to be this, these uh, polynomial expressions. So instead, my area inside here is x squared minus 2x minus 35. And I'm going to look for a length and a width that will multiply together and give me this expression. And that's why we need to use factoring. That's what factoring is. Okay? So again, the, the task is something that you already know how to do. We're going to take our expression, x squared minus 2x minus 35, and we are going to find numbers that multiply to negative 35 and add up to negative 2. My add number. Okay? And so I'm going to make lists a list of the factors of 35. Well, again, not that many of them in this case, 35 and 1. And 7 and 5 are the only factors of 35. And I have to deal with getting a negative in there. So I'm going to try 35. Well, that's either negative 35 and 1, or 35 and negative 1. And those both give me 34, negative 34. Uh, it looks like I could place it right here, and I'll have negative 7 plus 5. A negative 7 plus 5 is going to give me a negative 2. That's what I need. So I'm going to break this up into x minus 7 and x plus 5. And I'm going to say that x minus 7 could be a length. That could go up here. And x plus 5 could be a width, and that could go right there. And these are interchangeable. If you switch them and put x plus 5 on top and x minus 7 on the side, that's the same thing. We're just saying that this is a possible set of factors of this area which means that the dimensions could be x minus 7 and x plus 5.